Saturday Foursome is brought to you by... Instead of Flowers provides delicious gourmet meals that are delivered fresh and never frozen. If you're looking for what to give someone, Instead of Flowers makes the perfect gift for any and every occasion. Man, look like you went at that one. <laughs> yeah, you did. That's his fairway finder, right? Fairway. Oh, they went at that. Had a baby. All right. Why did you just go? Why are they making fun of me? I don't know, man. Because he's, he's playing against you. Everybody has a story. Mine started 20 years ago in the golf mecca of the world, Augusta, Georgia. On my journey to make it back home, I've done everything it takes to get there. On Saturdays, I connect with all kinds of people from all walks of life. We laugh, talk trash, share stories, and learn from each other's journeys. On the road to chase my dreams, this is what golf really looks like. This is golf like you've never seen it before. This is Saturday Foursome. There's nothing like being back home in Atlanta, Georgia. Today, I get to play golf with the world champion, Atlanta Braves. Kyle Wright, Mr. Set the Tone, and Vandy Commodore legend. AJ Minter, the cowboy and ultimate closer in the clutch. And Jackson Stevens, grew up a Braves fan and went all the way around the world to make it back to the ATL. Camera came on. Watch out, man. <laughs> I don't know what's more nervous, hitting off the tee box first shot or first pitch of the game. As we start playing, the competitive juices get to flowing, and I realize we got a big match ahead of us. There we go. Ball. Hold on, Joe. Come on. As we continue along, I talk to my partner Kyle about his path to the bigs. You get drafted 2017. Yeah. You're the first one of your draft class, you know, to make it to the majors, and then you kind of bounce kind of back and forth a little bit, man. What was your mind, you know, set, you know, during that time, and what were you going through mentally to, to make it to the next level? Yeah, you know, like I said, I got called up pretty quick, so um, got some pretty had some pretty quick success just to make it up that far, and. Um, ever since then, I get, when I first got called up in 2018, just kind of battling back and forth, going up, going down. Never really could catch my footing in and, and the big leagues. And early on, I have some success at AAA, get called up, and uh, still struggle. And you know, it took for me really last year, I had <clears throat> two outings in the big leagues, and both of them were really bad. And uh, so I went down and kind of hit the reset button and uh, tried to get back to myself and what I did really well in college. And um, you know, for me, that was it. You know, I did, a, I did a lot of like mental work just to kind of get myself, you know, prepared that way, um, to be able to have the success on the field and also be able to, you know, control what I'm doing off the field. So for me, that was kind of the starting point. And um, from that point on, uh, I, uh, started working in AAA and I kind of got my feet underneath me, got on a roll. And, you know, next thing I know, I found out there was going to be a chance for me to be on the world series roster. And, you know, I didn't think that was ever going to happen because just the way my whole year went. And sure enough, I they told me I was going to be on the roster and uh, ended up having a good first outing. And then I had to go to second outing. And next, you know, we won the World Series. Come on. And, uh, took it into spring training. And it's like I took that same momentum I had and had a good spring. And uh, so far, I've had a good year this year. So it's just kind of crazy how, you know, you can you're never you're never far away, you know, no matter because I was I was really, really low and you know, I was really struggling bad. And um, really turned it around and you know once I kind of finally hit that reset button I turned it around in a within a couple months so you know for me it was just kind of cool to see that you're never that far away than you think you are you know even though it may look like you're so it's you may see where you want to be is so far ahead but really you aren't so it's just kind of cool for me to see how far I came and how quickly I did just through all the struggles ups and downs and you know it's not I didn't do it myself there's a lot of good people in my life a lot of good coaches family that kind of helped push me to get me to where I wanted to be and you know next thing you know I've, you know, I've found some success now in the big leagues and you know gonna try to keep it going I love that man yeah. so you know now you got that confidence now now you're ready to go do you think 
because of your struggles, you're more, you know, apt to succeed now that you, you know, you've, you've seen where it is. Like you said, you're close, you, yeah. no matter how bad things may get, you know, how do you feel about that moving forward? Yeah, absolutely. I, I can feel it for me, like in games, when I get in big jams, the game just seems so much slower. Whereas in years past, you know, those things would spiral out of control. Next thing you know, I've given up five runs in one inning and I'm going two, two innings in a start. And now I feel like I can find, I, I've, I do a better job of finding a way to navigate those innings, find, find a way to get out at limit damage. And next, you know, I, you know, I'm going six, seven innings, which, you know, as a starting pitcher, that's a big deal. Um, being able to keep your bullpen guys in the bullpen. So I, I feel like I've, I've learned so much from those struggles and I definitely feel like the game just seems a lot slower to me. Um, my confidence level is, is significantly higher, just belief in myself. And then I think from there, then you just, you just get a lot more belief. You know, you know that those guys behind you are going to make plays and, um, I just feel like now that I believe in myself, I feel like I'm a better teammate. I just have better – I just feel like I bring a lot more to the team now just because of, you know, how much I've grown. And um, through all those struggles, it's kind of definitely helped push me to, to be the player I am today. I love that, man. Yeah. I love that. Well, hey, we're going to keep that confidence going. Yeah. You know, we can't let, you yeah. know, me and Jackson get up on us. So we're yeah. going we're to yeah. keep this going. we got got to keep swinging it. That's so, right. Yeah. That's I'll, right. I'll swing away. Opportunity won't always come to you, but with Synovus as your bank, you can always go towards it. Synovus, get there. There's a lot that comes with being an entrepreneur. Attention to detail, deadlines, product launches, and more. I've been fortunate enough to find early success, and now I'm so excited to keep it going. To make sure my small business of golf books, shoes, and TV show Saturday Foursome runs efficiently, I use Payhawk. They save me money with payment processing and are a partner that's always there for my small business needs. My friends at Payhawk have been there every step of the way, and I have no doubt that the best is yet to come. Let's go Payhawk. Saturday Foursome is brought to you by Instead of Flowers provides delicious gourmet meals that are delivered fresh and never frozen. If you're looking for what to give someone, Instead of Flowers makes the perfect gift for any and every occasion. Yeah, what a read. What a read. Good partner. What a putt. That was a big one. Huge. Dang. Great ball. I mean, Mips was a little bit better than that, but <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I probably hit the, I hit the shot in my life. Jackson Stevens has been all around the world to make it back to his favorite childhood team. I caught up with him while we were playing to hear his amazing story. Jackson, man, you get, you know, drafted by the Reds and, you know, you're playing and your time kind of comes up with them. And then COVID mm -hmm. hits, man. Take me through what kind of happened after that, you know, once you leave there. Yeah, I mean, I, I got DFA'd in 19 at the end of the season, which is around September, and uh, went the whole offseason just training for another team or anybody to pick me up or whatever. And spring training is going on, and no one's calling, and then COVID hit. And then, obviously, the whole thing shut down. And when that happened, I knew I wasn't getting any kind of calls. But so I just kind of like – Fiddled around, played a lot of golf, because uh, that's about the only thing you could do during COVID at the time. And didn't have a didn't have a job or nothing to play uh, for about a year and a half. And then got signed. Uh, one team called me at like around May of 2021, and it was a Mexican league team. Come on. And uh, I was not even going. Like it was, I was like, nah, I ain't doing that. No way, right? And my wife Brittany was like, no, you're too young. You need to go. You need to do this. We'll be all right. Just go ahead and do it. All right, so I go down there and play that whole season with them and then uh, got a phone call during that season by our bullpen catcher here at the Braves, uh, Jose Yepes, and was like, hey, man, I want you to play for my Venezuelan team because he's the GM of the team in Venezuela for winter ball. And I was like, I ain't going down there. No, I ain't going down there. And then after some talks with Brittany again and realizing that who Yepi was and some of the coaches went down there. So I go down there and uh, – End up winning pitcher of the year down in Venezuela, and the uh, uh, the Braves uh, offered me a job, minor league deal, uh, and just a minor league spring training invite. And because of the lockout that was going on, 
when they settled with it, I could be at spring training, all the minor leaguers. No, I wasn't, I wasn't in the big leagues year before, nothing like that. And when the lockout got done, they were like immediately playing games. Well, none of the big league camp arms were ready. So they just asked me like, Hey, can you pitch start two innings against the Rays? Uh, because our arms are not ready. I was like, yeah, I've already pitched some. And that's how I got to Snick got to see me. Craney got to see me. And a couple of those, uh, those people and coaches and was just like, all right. And then never got asked to pitch up there again. Still in minor league camp. And I pitched one time in the minor leagues and just, hey, you're going to the big leagues. And I was like, what? Come on, man. I was like, what? Come on. And I didn't. And that's why I say, like, we was talking earlier on the tee box uh, in that interview. All of us, like, nobody here knew who I was. Kyle Wright, I actually played against Kyle in high school. So, like, we, I knew of Kyle. Uh, I played against them before in, in through minor leagues or in the big leagues. But, like, I didn't know anybody. Uh, and they just welcomed me in with, like, open arms and, like, part of the family. And that was pretty cool. There's no way I could be out here with the world champs and not ask them about this season and going back to back. We're on absolute fire when June happens. I mean, every time I'm headed to work and listen to, you know, sports radio, Braves win, Braves win, Braves win. You know, but of course we have a super long season. But as we make this run into the playoffs and obviously we're going to get back to the World Series, you know, what's kind of the mindset as y'all make that push uh, toward the second half of the season? Yeah, I feel like. Just speaking back to last year, we started off the season very slow. Um, and then, you know, it's all about when you have to be hot at the right time. And then we started off, you know, again this year, we started off slow and uh, we picked it up the, these last few months. And um, but now it's just it's just about being consistent now. Um, you can't go out there and think, look at the standings and um, get caught up. I mean, it's 162 games for a reason. And if, if, you, if you have one good month, great. But if you have one bad month, that's baseball, and it's just all, you know, it's a marathon to the finish. It's not a sprint. I know, you know, baseball is just so crazy. It's just such a long marathon. You know, how do you stay mentally ready, Kyle, like, you know, to make it throughout the whole season? Yeah, I think the big thing is you can never get too high and you can't get too low. You have to always find yourself in the middle. Um, after any big win, you got to find yourself back here. After any tough loss, you got to find yourself back there. And I feel like we've done a pretty good job of that. We have, you know, we got a lot of experience on our team, and, we have a good mix of, of, of you know older guys and veteran guys and younger guys and um, I feel like the older guys kind of help you know set the standard and I feel like we're all just kind of falling right into that. So a lot of it is you know just having good guys, having good teammates, knowing knowing that you know you can't ever get too high, can't ever get too low, and I think that's the biggest thing and you know the season that we play. I got you. And Axon Jackson, you know, love having you with us, man. We're ready to get you you know to ring this year. You know what is kind of your your mindset as we we head you know closer to the playoffs and ready to crunch time you know oh i mean i'm excited like i mean all these guys welcome me in uh i wasn't a part of the world series team last year but it was fun watching them uh i grew up a Braves fan so obviously everybody back home where i'm from were like super excited for all these guys and then but i mean you know just staying the course really just like they know they know by experience what to do i i have no i've never been honestly i haven't been on a winning team before so it's like kind of pretty refreshing uh i like to I like to win. I'm I'm kind of a winner by trade, like, and it's kind of fun in the clubhouse. But like, all these guys are leading by example. They know what to do, and it's kind of kind of just following in their footsteps a little bit, and also having fun doing it. I love that. I love that. Well, hey man, it's always got to be your first time at one point, you know, just like it was there first time last time. So you got what it takes, man. I'm excited. I'll be tickled to death to get back there. I think the theme song for the rest of the year should be Drake back to back. I mean, that's what I'm. That's what I'm feeling. Just let me know who I need to talk to to make. I'm actually probably the guy that you need to talk to. Okay, I like that. I, 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 I have yeah, the sport in the locker. Room. I have the pregame. I'm pregame DJ. I love that. It was kind of it's kind of a weird thing. I was like, we was in Colorado. That's when we started. We won the last game in Arizona, I think. Right? We won. It. Yeah. Then we go to Colorado right after. And when we beat those guys, we was just sitting in the locker room one day, and it was just quiet. And I was like, does somebody want me to just like put some music on or whatever? And I did. And next, you know, we just started rolling, and we didn't win. We didn't lo or we didn't lose for like fourteen straight games. Well, you got to do it now. I mean, now, now everybody's like, uh, the hour before the game, let's go. Like, 
Let's get it. What's your, who's your go to? Who who you like to listen to? I grew up I, I grew up listening to like Lil Wayne, all them. Like so like the older rap from like I guess you could say like two thousands to two thousand tens. Yeah. Like I'm not very familiar with the new rap, but like we've been hitting up like I feel like I play Lil Wayne every single day. That's like a good that's a good sign. Um uh, but we'll play some Boosie, we'll play uh all kinds of stuff. Like okay. Drake. We'll play Drake, obviously, okay. future. But yeah, no. I'll I'll remember that back to back. That'd be back, back to back's a good one. Set it off by Boosie is one of my favorites. Oh, if you really if you want to get them going, yeah, set it off. That's a real popular one in the clubhouse right now. According to Jax, that slaps. Yeah, that's, it, it slaps. That's his. That's his. That's his. That's his it slaps. I love it. I love it. Well, we got about four or five more holes. Let's go set it off for the rest of the time. Let's do it. <laughs> Wherever potential leads you next, get there with speed. Get there with scale. Get there with a bank you trust. Synovus, get there. There's a lot that comes with being an entrepreneur. Attention to detail, deadlines, product launches, and more. I've been fortunate enough to find early success and now I'm so excited to keep it going. To make sure my small business of golf books, shoes, and TV show Saturday Foursome runs efficiently, I use Payhawk. They save me money with payment processing and are a partner that's always there for my small business needs. My friends at Payhawk have been there every step of the way, and I have no doubt that the best is yet to come. Let's go Payhawk. Oh no! Oh no. Oh, we have a chance. Oh, Ladies and no. gentlemen, the bullpen has arrived oh, with hope. Oh no! Golly. Us relief pitchers are holding our ground against the QB1s. <laughs> Ooh, that's Good cute. God, my. That's cute. Birdies there. Thank you, thank you. A couple birdies. Couple bird dogs. Get in there. Oh, Sporty. Nice. Clutch. Good putt right there. Clutch. Tight, man. It's fair. It is. All right, fellas, we got the perfect par three to do a little closest to the pin action. If y'all want to get involved, y'all want to do a little something here. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So earlier, you and I, we had a little contest, you know, about the two putt, about me being the mascot. So maybe we can get that, some something like that back going here. All right. All right. So, all right. So if you win, if you're closer, I guarantee to volunteer my time to the Braves to be the mascot for the rest of the season. I'll do run around, you know, I'll do the chop. I'll get it going. If you lose, I don't know. What do y'all think? If he loses, what, what should we do here? Mm, pick wisely. <laughs> you got to take me on a hunting trip. How about oh, that? Easy. Okay. Oh, All go. right. There you go. Perfect. Oh. Come on. Nice. Get the deer ready. Woo! I can't promise we're going to shoot anything, but we'll go hunting. Uh, <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> Great shot. Hey. Before we finished up, I had to ask my guy Mint about his amazing heroics last year during the World Series run. I was in Mexico uh, at a PJ Tour event. And I was watching the World Series from there, man, and I was just so fired up and pumped to see you out there, man. You were so locked in, yeah. you know. What space did you go to when you were you were out there? It's kind of situations where nothing in life can really prepare you for that moment. As a kid, you just dream about playing in the World Series, and um, for for me to actually be there, it was just honestly, it just kind of felt like another game. Um, obviously, when you're 
away from the field, you're watching, you know, TV, the hype around it, all the reporters are there. Yeah, that's when it kind of feels a little bit different. But when you're out there on the mound, it feels like another game. And I know it kind of you know, speaks to golf or, or whatever, but you can't let the situation kind of get too big. You just got to stay in, in your mental uh, space and just remember to breathe. Uh, it's, just, it's just baseball. You can't let the situation get too big and just go out there and relax and just, you know, pitch your game. I love that, man. Yeah. I love that, man. Well, hey, let's do it again. That's One right. more. That's right. Back, back, back. back. I love that. What a great day with the world champion Atlanta Braves. I'm proud to not only root for these guys, but also call them my friends. Only in Atlanta is this day and this dream of mine possible. We'll see y'all soon on Saturday Forces.